be things. Right. Because as women, like, we can feel when you're pandering to us. Yeah. Like, we just, we could, like, feel it in our soul. <laughs> or even when you have a conversation with a woman and they're just like, yeah, yeah, agreeing with you. And it's like, I want, I want to have that, like, pushback or want to have that conversational, but... But the thing is, a lot of men don't understand that that in the short in the short term that works for a certain type of woman. So, mm-hmm. yeah, you know the Derek Jacksons of the world, right? And um, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like those kind of guys who pander towards women, <laughs> it works for a short space of time. But essentially, women like masculine men. Mm-hmm. Do you I know mean. what I mean? And they respect them. Yeah. And so, you know, I've said so many times this um, society, and a lot a lot of the time the feminist movement. Mm. attempted to build the type of man that women wouldn't want. Yeah, they always do that. So what they done is that they said, become more feminine, um, be more in touch with your feminine side. I grew up in a time where there was a, you probably got the same time, yeah. where they used to call the metrosexual. Yeah, exactly. Do you remember that term? Yeah, the yeah. metrosexual, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. when, people were like, what the hell is a metro? And that's when women started to kind of effeminize men and say, oh, men are supposed to be a little more feminine and be in touch with the feminine side. And I'm like, you're building the type of men that you wouldn't even be attracted to. Exactly. Why would you do that? Yeah. Exactly. But I drank the Kool-Aid on that a little bit. Not the metrosexual thing, but even slightly before that. That's That right. phrase, um, uh, it, get in touch with your feminine side. It probably yeah. came from like the 80s, maybe, something like that. Right. And, and I remember that phrase being, it was around in the yeah. in the consciousness. And, um, you know, early on, I sort of believed it for a bit. I thought, oh, women, they want to see you yeah. be vulnerable. They want now. And then what you discover. We don't. The, that, well, we and then, don't. I do. And then they, what, they be lying. Then what you, you discover, you what you you discover you then in the, in the harsh, in the harsh, gladiatorial ring of dating is that if you show that sort of vulnerability and weakness, um, you're you're gonna get kicked to the curb, really. right? Yeah. Particularly early on. I mean, maybe you get a bit more leeway if you've been in a you know long term relationship, but but even then, you know, you've you've got to retain that masculine core. Otherwise, really, you're toast. I have, I have a question for the girls. Okay, he's a, a one to ten. He's a five, but he's really masculine. What is he? How many Ooh, points does that give ten. a guy? A ten. <laughs> <laughs> it bumps them up like two, three points. Two, three points. Yeah, same. Like around a seven. Okay, okay. She, for the, for the men. She's a six, but she's like super feminine. What is she? She's my wife. 